In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the aspect ratio of the Cosmic screensaver for the Linux users that are still using screensavers. Now, if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that will show you the instructions so that you don't have to rewatch or pause the video. Now, I know that screensavers are not very, very popular these days, but back in the old days when we used CRT TVs and CRT computer monitors, if an image stayed still on the screen for a very long time, it would burn the image. Like for Linux users, this bar here doesn't move, and this bar de here doesn't move, or at least it doesn't move very often unless I change the appearance of my screen where the panels are. And with Windows, that bar across the bottom doesn't move with the start button. Now the start button moved more often, but the task bar across the bottom didn't. And if you left your screen on for a large period of time, or a long period of time, let's say that you went home for the weekend and you left your monitor on coming back on Monday you may see the image of that bar burnt in on the screen and those were cathode ray tube monitors the older style monitors now the newer style LCD liquid crystal displays it doesn't have that problem as much yes you can get burnt in on an LCD monitor but it's more reversible nowadays than it was with cathode ray tubes. With the old CRTs, you get burn in, it's it's permanent. You, you can still use the monitor, but you'll see that image burnt on your screen. So nowadays, uh, we use power managers on our uh, laptops and our desktops to where if we walk away from our computer for a long period of times, either the screen will go dim and the power will be taken away from the screen, or that we can reduce the power to say shut off our machine or put it in idle mode to save uh, electricity and if you're using a laptop it will save your battery extending the life of your battery throughout the day so really for laptop users screen savers are not very efficient anymore so for laptop users unless you're just nostalgia you know you're probably not going to use it now I have an old laptop that has a weak battery so it stays plugged in all the time so if I'm away from my computer for a long period of time I do have the screensaver to come up one of my favorite screensavers for a Linux is the Cosmos screensaver but the problem with that was it was created so long ago where the aspect ratio are not for the newer monitors it's an aspect ratio of 16 by 10 rather than 16 by 9 and there's not very many images of the cosmos so when you look in that folder originally there's only let's say three six nine images in the folder with an xml extension file which the x ML extension is the extensible markup language very similar to HTML the way that websites work it's a little bit more extensive that has information about your images and how much time during the transition and I'll show you a little bit more about that in a moment what I did was is I took those images that were 16 by 9 aspect ratio and I made them 16 by 10 aspect ratio and I converted them to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so that it fits most screens today you know most screens today and I do have a little chart below to where if you look at your like I have a 1920 by 1080 so if I look at 1920 by 1080 that's full high definition it's 16 by 9 aspect ratio a while back a long time ago you had 16 by 10s when screens started coming out other than the CRTs most CRTs were like 4.3 the square box but when high definition started coming out there were different aspect ratios until a standard was developed so you can use this chart if you look up on your screen and kind of go like go to system tools choose your system profile benchmark and then go to your display it will show you your resolution of your screen which is 1920 by 1080 pixels so I would like for my images to be 1920 by uh, 1080 to fill up my screen so what I did was is I took the original Cosmos screensaver images and I converted them to the size of my laptop monitor which is still 16 by 9 so if I downloaded this one it would still work on my laptop monitor it would fill the screen but it's just a large much larger image file size than this one so this was for my laptop that was for my desktop and you can look at the image size and I can show you in a few moments how you can resize it to fit the image of your screen but to start with let me go where the Cosmos screensaver is at and I show you the location here it's in the user share background in a folder called Cosmos so if I go to the, my file manager Kaha file manager I go back to where I can say see user and then share and then backgrounds and here's the Cosmos folder 
So if I double click on here, here is my nine images and here is my background image. Now when I click a double click an image you can see down here in the bottom it's 2560 by 1600. If I go back to my website look at that 2560 by 1600 you can see that it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So what, I, what that is is if you're looking at 16 by 9 that just simply means there's 16 squares this way along with 9 this way. This is the standard high definition screen. So by saying 1610 you're still having 16 this way but you're adding an extra row at the bottom and when you're adding an extra row if you're filling your screen from the bottom to the top and you've got an extra row you don't have that extra row on the side to fill the side up so what happens is it creates a black bar on the side of your image because you have an extra wide or from height on your screen is taller than it is long not really taller than it is long but you have an extra line so that you have to compensate that with the dark areas on the side so that's a, this is 16 by 9 and I'm just illustrating what it would look like for 16 by 10 so let's take a look now at the the, the file XML so when you right click and open with your text editor uh, as you can see here it has information about the images it shows the file name where the location is and it shows the duration of the file so how much time and then it what it transitions from this file name to this one so when you're copying my folder in replacement of this one I did replace the names I, I rewrote those and I made them here and it made it to where if you add additional files you can just come in that file and add the extra names at the bottom and I'll show you that in just a moment but before I show you how to replace those let me take a look at what the issue is if I come up here and go to system preferences look and feel and choose my screensaver and this is with a traditional uh, menu of mate when I go to preview mode now I do have a bar up here so it's going to be a little extra wide as you can see here there's a black bar on the right hand side and there's a black bar on the left hand side and that's because this image is at the 1610 ratio so let me leave full screen and I'm gonna go back to where I got the default and I've already uncompressed those if you when you download them it's not going to be in a folder like this you have to choose extract here and I'll show you that in a moment but if I double click on this image here it opens with my image viewer but I don't want my image viewer to be top and bottom so I double click now it's full screen so as you can see here on the right hand side and on the left hand side there are black bars to compensate for the 1610 uh, aspect ratio so let me come over and show you the difference between the ones that I changed so if you go to here this, this is the default there's where I've created the different folders so when you hit download from where I have them at you just extract it the way I'm going to show you so I'm gonna go in here I have a file they all have the same name so you can't download them to the same folder you right click choose extract here and there's more images rather than nine images I have multiple images but with my XML file when you open it up and say open with the uh, text editor as you can see here I rename them to have a consistent name between each of those instead of trying to name what the image is so that way if you want to add more images if you find some additional cosmos or space images you can drop them into this folder and continue the name like 4950 you can call it 51 and when you get down here to the 51 you just add copy and paste this and stick it at the bottom and transition like from 50 it transitions back to the beginning at zero which is here so all you do is you put it between your 50 and say transition to 51 and then transition from 50 to 51 to zero zero so this little XML file just basically has, has the amount of transition time and what the image is next in transition. Now when I double click on this particular file then double click it here it now fills the side it fills my full screen so when I click from image to image I now have a full screen screensaver instead of the black bars on the left and right side. Now let me show you how you fix this how you take this screensaver picture and I didn't take any of these of course they're space pictures or in some art pictures I didn't create them I found them online for wallpaper and extended my own amount of pictures because I do like the Cosmos screensaver I just don't like seeing the same nine images over and over and over those nine images are within here it's just I added some additional images with it so what you do when you download you right click choose extract here and I do have the download link here 
So if you have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and your screen resolution is 1920 by 1080, then you can download this one if you're on a laptop and that's your screen resolution. If you just happen to have something different, if you've got the Kaha File Manager, you don't need an image resizer. You can resize the entire folder. If I went here and select every picture, and I'll later do this another video about the tips of Kaha File Manager, you can right click and say the resize the images and choose that, say custom width. You can put like whatever your screen resolution is. In this case, if I double click on this one, here as you can see it's 1920 by 1080 and if these images were all something different I could put in here like 1920 put 1080 and say resize hit resize and it would do a batch resize of every image in that folder where it would then fit my screen and I like to do that when I download images from the internet for wallpaper just to make sure it will fit the entire screen without truncating it when it sets it as a wallpaper now let me show you how you can rewrite the existing wallpaper with the Cosmos that is 1920 by 1080. You open up your Kaha file manager, you go back to user, you go to share. Now you don't immediately click on double click backgrounds. Since we're in the user folder, this is for every user that logs into your machine. So if we're wanting to change something for every user, we have to right click on backgrounds, choose open as administrator, put your password in, once you put your password in then you can press the enter or return key and as you can see here the folders are a different color because we are now logged in as a super user what you do is you simply click on the cosmos and that's it here but we want to get rid of this one so we delete this cosmos and we come into where we have it downloaded and I uncompressed it by saying extract here this is the cosmos that has all my image and every image is 1920 by 1080 so I want to take this cosmos folder right click cut go back into my backgrounds folder right click paste and once all the images are in that folder I can close that folder down I can close them all down I'll minimize my web browser when I go back to system preferences look and feel and choose screensaver and if you're not using uh, Ubuntu with the traditional menu you can go into the control center scroll down to look and feel click on your screensaver and when it's on Cosmos, it looks like there's a black bar here and here because you've got to remember this little screen, preview screen, was for the older style. So it's going to have the black bar here and here because this is the 16 by 10 resolution instead of the 16 by 9. So when I go in preview, there's a slight bar there only because the bar up here is making it fit this area. So this dark image is the same size here and here and not across the bottom. So when I go leave this and I go back into my... Uh, user share backgrounds so when I go back to say user share then backgrounds and I can click on backgrounds now I'm not going to alter anything I'm just going to view them when I double click here then double click my image it's completely full screen from top to bottom and I know there's a lot of dark areas in the but as you can see with this image it's completely filling my monitor there's no dark images all around so you can see that for every single image it goes through and I'm navigating it with my arrow keys because I'm using my image viewer to scroll through here so when I'm away from my computer now and as you can see it recycles back to the beginning so when I'm away from my computer now it then comes up to my screensaver on my desktop and my laptop that I leave plugged in as you can see here I set it for if I'm away from my computer for 30 minutes activate the screensaver you don't have to turn that on you can click on power management and you can control like put the computer to sleep when and I've put never so that way that my screensaver stays active however if you want to be power consumption wise you can say after two hours so that way for an hour and a half it takes 30 minutes for your system to come on then that way for an hour and a half your screensaver will be on and then eventually your computer will go to sleep to save you power so that way if you want to try to save some power if you're a laptop user and there's a screensaver that you have but most of the time screensavers are when you away from your computer so you're not really seeing the images maybe people come across here you can say lock the screen so that when your screensaver comes up if somebody moves the mouse or you press a key on your keyboard you can use that as a way of keeping people from coming back to your system unless they know your user password to get into your account but that is how to change the Cosmos screensaver from its default 1610 aspect ratio to 
16 and I got 19 I'll change that 16 9 aspect ratio so hopefully this video has been helpful to you if you're nostalgia like me and like to still use screensavers and have a great day